guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm filming a bit of a shaming type of video on myself, for myself. And that's right, today I'm going to be going through every single unread book on this bookshelf with you today. I'm actually pretty excited to make this video because, I don't know, sometimes it's like when you look at your bookshelf and you're not quite sure what to read next, it can be even a little daunting to decide. So I felt like this would be a great opportunity for you guys to shame me to read certain books that you feel like, Reagan, why haven't you read this yet? What's wrong with you? So I figured I'll make this video. You guys comment down below what books you think I should be reading first or as soon, like ASAP. And it'll be really helpful for me next time I'm like, what do I read next? I'll refer to the comment section. That being said, I'm gonna go shelf by shelf down this bookshelf and we're gonna talk about what books I have not read. You'll notice as we move further down, the books get higher degree of not read yet. But anyway, without further ado, let's just start with shelf Number one. So on this shelf, there's only three books I haven't read yet. One I don't feel too guilty about because it literally came out like three days ago. And that is Magnus Chase, The Gods of Asgard, Ship of the Dead, which I'm actually hopefully planning to read this month. And we have The School for Good and Evil, The Last Ever After by Soman Chanini. Uh, this book's really long. I don't know why I've been putting this off. Lastly, I have Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman, which I actually plan on reading very, very soon. So hopefully this will be knocked off the unread list you know, before, before too long. Moving on to the next top shelf. I only have two unread books on this shelf and that is A Spirit of Book and Thieves and The Darkest Magic by Morgan Rhodes, book one and two to the prequel series to The Fallen Kingdom's World. I should probably read these soon. Honestly, I'm probably gonna stop giving explanations as to why I haven't read books yet because it really is the same one of, I don't know why I haven't read it, I should read this soon. And you know, if that's the case for every book, there's clearly gonna be a backup of when you start to read things. All right, moving on to the next shelf, this guy here. All right, I have a short stack of unread books. The first one being The Salt to the Sea by Rita Sepetys. Then we have The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I have Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Wine. And lastly, and probably most embarrassingly, I have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. All right, so moving on over to this shelf here, I actually have no unread books on this shelf. This is like the Cinda Williams China shelf on my bookshelf, and I've read them all. That means moving down to right here. Again, I have a short stack of unread books, starting with Blue Lily, Lily Blue, and The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. No, I have not completed this quartet yet. I don't know why. Yell at me. Next, I also have Exit West by Mohsen Hamid. And lastly, I have Ink and Bone, The Great Library by Rachel Kane. Now moving on to this shelf. This is also another shelf where I've read a lot of books on it. I think I only have one unread book. And that is Dreamer's Pool by Juliette Marillier. All right, moving right along. We got, we got this shelf down here. We're definitely getting to the point where the shelves are getting increasingly more unread. First up, I have The Night Queen by Alexander Shade. Then I have A Constellation of Vital Phenomenon by Anthony Mara, which I've literally had for so long. I cannot believe I haven't read this book yet. Then I have Eleanor by Jason Gruley. Next up is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahara, which also is very embarrassing. Then I have The Muse by Jesse Burton. And lastly, I have The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell and Caraval by Stephanie Garber. All right, moving down to this side. This is also a pretty red shelf, I would say. After this, it's gonna get a little dicey. So first off is a recent acquisition, but that is The Dollmaker of Krakow by R.M. Romero. Then I have The Reader, book one of the Sea and Ink and Gold series by Tracy Shi. Then I have The Dragons of Nova by Elise Kova. And then this might be a surprise to people that I haven't read this book. I have Winter by Marissa Mayer. Have not read this yet. And lastly, and probably most embarrassing for this shelf, is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. All right, so moving right along to my bottom four shelves, the shelves that you rarely see in the background of my videos. They house some really great books, most of them I haven't read. So this is the shelf, the, the next shelf we're gonna go over. First off, I have The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland by Catherine M. Valente. Then I have The Bear in the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Next up, I have Into the Wild by John Krakauer and Never Let Me Go by Kazu Ishiguro. Then I have another recent acquisition and that is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. Then I have Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Next up is The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexandra Bracken. Then I have The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. I'd actually love to hear some thoughts about this book. I've heard really good things, 
but I'm just curious to know if any of you guys have read it and enjoyed this book. Next up, I have Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. Then I have A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Next up is How to Be Both by Ali Smith. Next up, I have Americana by Chimanda Negozier Adichie. Lastly on this shelf, I have The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. I think it's pretty obvious from this shelf that I have been very uh, bad about reading literary fiction these past couple years. It's been like all fantasy all the time for me and I'm especially realizing even more so now that I really need to work on changing that moving forward. Right, moving on to the next bottom shelf. Not as bad as the other one, but still pretty bad. <laughs> the first book I have not read is The Brief and Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz. This is a book that I feel like I've been meaning to read for an eternity. Then I have Sight by Neil Shusterman, which is actually on my TBR for this month, so hopefully this will be read very soon. Then I have The Wake of Vultures by Leela Bolin, which sounds so awesome. Next up, I have A Gathering of Shadows and A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. This is on my TBR for this month, and I hope to finish this trilogy before the end of the year. I really hope. And lastly, I have the three books that are remaining for me to read in the Thief series. Starting first with The King of Atolia, and then we have A Conspiracy of Kings, and lastly we have Thick as Thieves by Megan Wallen-Turner. This is another series I really hope to complete through the rest of the year, as I am Loving it so far. All right, we're gonna move on to my last two books on this bookshelf. They're definitely gonna be the most unread, so just mentally prepare for that. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. All right, the first book I'm actually gonna show you, I'm a little confused about how I have book two, but not book one. How did this happen? But it is Septimus Heath Flight, which is book two. I need to remedy this. <laughs> and I have Neverwhere and Coraline by Neil Gaiman. I have Novice by Taryn Matharu. I have Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisa Pessel. Next up is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. Then I have Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. Next up I have The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. Then I have The Ghost Bride by Yang Zi Shou. And next is The Library of Mont Char by Scott Hawkins. And lastly, I have The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. And honestly, the last shelf is so many books, I can't hold them all up. But first up, I have The Buried Giant by Kazu Ishiguro. And I have The City of Dreaming Books by Walter Morris. And I have The Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. Next up is The Egg and the Spoon by Gregory Maguire. I have The Romanoffs by Simon Seabog Montefiore, though I've started this, but I've technically not finished it. Then I have The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. And I Darken by Kristen White. The Water Knight and the Wind Up Girl by Paolo Bacagalupi. Magic Study by Marie V. Snyder. Hunted by Megan Spooner. The Crane Wife by Patrick Ness. Shadowfell by Juliette Marillier. Serafina by Rachel Hotkin. Serafina by Rachel Hartman. The Naming by Alison Crogan. Deathless by Catherine M. Valente. Clicked by Tamara Ireland Stone. Unhooked by Lisa Maxwell. The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. And last, and certainly not least, I have A Man Called Ove by Frederick Bachman, which just sounds so charming in a book that I should also read soon, but then also refer back to this entire video. I should read all of these books soon. Alrighty guys, those are all of my unread books on my bookshelf. I actually have no idea what number it is, and I feel like I don't want to know because if I do, I think I would just be having crippling anxiety about the whole thing. <laughs> Being like, why have you not planned effectively, Reagan? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below books that you think I should get to sooner rather than later, as I would love to know, and also kind of the point of this video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon with another video soon. Goodbye!